Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this brand new app development course in which we are creating a AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we are going to implement download feature in our AI image creator. So in the last video we implemented the logic to create the AI image. Now we want to download it. So I have already created a download button here that is simply a floating action button with some padding of from right and bottom okay and after that and this on press is completely empty as well as I have given a kind of a square shape to this button and a simple icon save okay now we are going to implement the functionality of it so for that we are going to use a package uh, which is called as gallery saver now so if you simply search gallery saver flutter now you will get mainly this image gallery saver and gallery saver plus actually i am not gonna use both of them rather i simply search gallery saver and actually i like this package but it's quite an outdated one okay it will not work with the latest versions so as you move below you will see multiple options of gallery saver and this gallery saver updated is a latest one just two months ago so i am gonna use this one and copy this dependency and move to our project okay and simply inside our pubspec.yml we just need to add this inside our dependencies so simply press Control save and now we also need to add some permissions in our application to use this package so it is suggesting for ios you have to add this ns photo library permission and for android right external storage permission is required and one more thing we have also need to add uh, this request legacy external storage permission for android 10 okay it is located inside this image gallery saver so simply inside our info.p list okay so simply you can go to your ios structure and inside this runner and simply inside info.p list i have already added that permission and i have mentioned a string here this app requires read and write access to the photo library so this string is required by ios okay so this is shown when the permission prompt is requested and the next thing is for our android so go to android app and after that src and inside this main there will be a file called as android manifest.xml and i have already added that permission here as well as this request legacy too okay so you can also copy it from my github okay so simply we can move to that package again and if you scroll down you will see multiple options i actually i am mainly interested in this save network image option so there is already a function which is used to save the image so i'm just gonna going to copy this one out and let's move to our project okay so simply inside this image feature rather than writing codes inside on press i will create a function inside this our image controller okay so simply here i will paste those codes and simply instead of this path actually we don't require this path we will be using the url inside this field okay so you can download any url you like you just have to paste it here and we need to import this gallery saver package so we can import it and actually it is throwing an error that this bool can be null so what we can do is we can just remove this bool type from here and it will be automatically handled and we can just even remove this set state and I can add a await keyword here because it will take some time and inside this when this image is shown now I just want to show a uh, my dialog okay that we created in the last video inside our my dialogs simply this snack bar for success and you may have observed I have created a loading dialog here okay show loading dialog and I am calling get dot dialog here and I have wrapped it with the center widget and then custom loading okay and if you wish you might have used circular progress indicator here but for now I'm just gonna use this one so inside our image controller first I want to show that dialog my dialogs dot and we can use this success one okay because on the image save we want to show this one and simply image downloaded to gallery and if you know what this success does is uh, this simply returns a true and false when image is saved successfully or not okay so for now we can ignore this success but if you want to print something you can use log and print it here for now what i will do is i will wrap this 
gallery saver uh, with a try catch block okay so simply there are very high chances that it may throw an error so in that case i just simply want to print that error so simply i will use a log here and we need to import this dart.developer1 and inside this simply we can just put the name of the function okay this is a simple convention that i follow for printing errors and simply dollar e okay and now i also want to show a progress indicator while this is downloading or some loading okay or else user will feel like screen is freezed so what i will do is here simply that function my dialog dot show loading dialog and before showing this success dialog i want to hide that dialog so simply we can use get dot back okay so this will hide the dialog for us and simply like this and I also want to hide that dialog inside this by chance it throws an error so get dot back so I have added some comments here okay and now one last thing if you hover on this save image now you will see there is an option called as album name okay so we can also define the name of the album in which we want to store this so actually I will create a album name according to our app name okay so simply album name and simply app name if you want you can give any name here like AI image or anything so for now simply control save and let's run our project by simply pressing F5 so as you can see the application is up and running and if I click on this AI image creator actually we forgot to give functionality to this download feature so simply move to our image feature and here inside this on press actually I can use directly that function so underscore C dot and we have give the name of download image and remove this unnecessary parenthesis and simply control save now one more thing i don't want to show this download button every time because there is no image currently here in that case if user press on it it will kind of throw an error so i want to show it only when url is not empty or our status is completed which means image is generated i will just cut the codes of the download button and i will use a obx here and simply i will check here uh, underscore c dot status dot value is equals to equals to status dot and we have multiple options so completed so when it is completed now then only show this download button or else we can simply use a sized box and simply a const keyword and control save now you will see that download button is hidden and i can type anything i like here so simply dolphin in beautiful ocean in evening and if i just click on this create button you will see image generation is started so it will take a little bit of time so as soon as this status is completed this button is shown now if i just click on this one now it will start showing the loading so actually we have showed the loader here and then it gets hide and after that it's kind of showing that dialog image downloaded to gallery now if i just move to my phone's gallery then so simply inside photos and inside this search or let's say libraries and you will see no image is saved here okay no album is even created here this is my old applications album so why this is not saying the image uh, the reason is quite a simple i just figure it out actually this url is quite a weird this gallery saver is not able to recognize this URL as an image URL and that's the reason it is not able to download and save it properly then how we can save this image so first we need to download this image manually using HTTP package and then we have to use path provider to save it inside our temporary directory and then we have to pass the path of the image here and then we can save it to gallery now it's a quite a long process but it will be done in hardly two to three lines of codes so let's just get started so first we need to download the image using our http package so i am calling it bytes because we can't download an image directly we have to download the bytes data of it so simply bytes and simply a await keyword here and i am calling get of http and inside this we have to pass that url so simply uri dot pass and simply this url and after this function is completed so i have to wrap it around two parentheses 
and dot and i can access this body bytes okay so we are interested in this so it will provide us the image data inside these bytes now we need to store this image so what i will do is simply here uh, i can create a file so simply file is equals to and simply the file function so we need to import this dart.io and we need to provide a path at which we want to save the file and before that i will use this write as bytes so store this file from bytes data so this bytes data we need to pass and i can add a await keyword here or else it will be a future file so simply a await keyword here now we just need to provide a temporary path here to save that file so for that i will use path provider so get temporary directory so actually this is a temporary directory not the path so simply dot and actually we need to wrap it around let me cut it from here and i will create that path here so final path is equals to and simply like this and i just need to add a await keyword here so it is kind of providing me a directory so let me call it directory for now and i will create the path here and simply i can use that directory dot path and i can add my own path here for the image so i am calling it ai image dot png you can use any extension so this is the directory path and then i am using my backslash to add the image name here so simply remove this interpolation and control save now we can use this file to save that image so simply file dot path and if we wish we can print that path too so simply log and file path and it will be dollar file dot path okay now it might sound a bit so first we are downloading the bytes data of the image then we are creating a directory temporarily and we are accessing that directory to get a path and we are storing those bytes then we are passing that file path to gallery saver and we are saving the image so now uh, i'm just going to my application so simply i'm just gonna click on this download and you will see that url is printed and as you can see the dialog shows and simply the data path is showing here so the image is saved in this location so this is our app directory and now if i just go inside the gallery saver now so inside these photos i can go to libraries you will see ai assistant and that image is being downloaded okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new from it so that's it for this video see you in next video till then bye bye